we've taken this opportunity to speak to some of our gals in the armed forces, and here they are. When did you join up? I joined in 1941 when I was old enough. My parents wouldn't let me join beforehand, so I had to wait for my 18th birthday. What made you decide on the Auxiliary Territorial Service? What made me decide on the ATS? Well, it was the Blitz I remember, and I saw a newsreel about the anti-aircraft and searchlight units in London. I grew up in Coventry, and it was just after the bombing, and you could see the fires for days after. And, well, I saw that the girls worked alongside the men equally, working the rangefinders for the guns. They were right in the thick of it, and that's where I wanted to be. Sadly, it uh, didn't work out uh, the way I planned, and I was sent where I was most needed. And what is it you do? I joined as a private and was sent across to the motor pool and trained to be a driver mechanic. I was eventually attached to the Royal Signals. I mostly drove vehicles and uh, said I could never quite master the motorcycle. I'm now on the training staff at the mechanical school at Aldershot. Have you managed to see the world while serving? Yes, I served in France, uh, landing in Normandy in uh, July 1944, so just after D-Day. And uh, I was attached to the Royal Army Ordnance Corps at the time. We were responsible for following the advancing army with the supplies they needed. And uh, I was involved in Operation Market Garden, uh, but as you know, we couldn't quite break through to Germany, through Holland. And I then returned home in November where I was commissioned and now I'm at Aldershot. What do your duties involve? I am one of the training staff at Aldershot. We're responsible for training the girls to drive and maintain all manner of vehicles. I don't get involved as much as I'd like to now in, with the mechanic side of things following my commission. Um, my role is mostly administrative. So I have to ensure that the girls have the necessary training that they need before they get sent on active duty. But I can share my experiences, I suppose, and I hope that helps. Can you tell us a little bit about your time with the Auxiliary Territorial Service? When I first joined, I was fortunate to be based in the Midlands at a place called Bowmanor Hall, so it wasn't too far from home. I mostly drove utility vehicles. Me and two other girls had a shift where we would have a specific route we would take twice a day, one in daylight and then one at, at night. And the daytime one would normally take around two hours, being 60 miles or so. The nighttime route was a completely different story. Smog, no road signs and blackout. It, well, proof for a very taxing drive. It was down in Bedfordshire. Uh, we were delivering secret papers, all by Hush Hush. I then put in for a transfer, as so I wanted to get away from home. And uh, yes, I should have been careful what I wished for because I ended up going to France. Do you have a family or a sweetheart in the armed forces? Uh, well, I had a, a brother. He was in the Lincolns. He was killed in Normandy. Um, actually, it turned out that the day I landed, he, he died. Um, I was able to visit his grave though, which uh, was some comfort to, to my family. My other brother is in the Navy. He's uh, on mine layers and he's in the Pacific at the moment. And yes, I do have a sweetheart. Um, I met a Canadian airman whom I rather like. Have you ever met any of our wartime leaders? I've trained Princess Elizabeth. Uh, she joined the ATS recently and uh, was trained at Aldershot and is now a fully fledged driver mechanic in the Auxiliary Territorial Service. Marvellous. What was it like training a member of the Royal Family? A little nerve-wracking, as you can well imagine, but it was important for her and the others on the training course that she didn't get any preferential treatment. You'll be pleased to know that the Princess got stuck in just as much as the others. She learnt to drive, maintain and service a variety of vehicles, from Austin Tillys to K2 ambulances. She's a very adept mechanic and passed the driving test the first time. She'll make a very able queen. Now we are at peace. What's your plans? Well, I. I rather like being with the ATS, so I'm hoping I can stay on. Um, I think perhaps as an instructor um, I'll be able to, but we shall have to see if they decide to keep it all going. Uh, I do hope that women can have a continued involvement in, in the armed forces uh, with their own units. And um, yes, well, we've proven to be a very valuable and capable resource. How do you intend to celebrate the victory in Europe? I'm meeting my Canadian and we're going to go out dancing. And then it's back to work for me.